Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kim Lissette doing another segment with My Mom Monday. And on today's segment with My Mom Monday, we got this bedroom. I got a little scratchy throat today. So, um, but that doesn't matter. I'm still going to do the video. Um, so, like I was saying, on, on today's segment with My Mom Monday, what I just want to talk about is, so, like, y'all, as y'all most know, I like to read books. I haven't done a few book reviews or done a few few reviews on sometimes when I'm like halfway or, or, or got to a certain point in the book where I've been reading and I feel like I just want to share my thoughts on it. So this book that I'm actually reading is by Jason Wilson. Jason Wilson. Uh, it's called Battle Cries, Raging and Winning the War Within. And so like basically I had to sum up some some of the pages I've been reading so far. Um, one of the first few things he talked about was, was being emotionally in prison. And so he's not talking about being physically in prison because he actually had one time had went to jail for some um, for for a crime he had committed when he was younger and stuff like that. And um, basically, what occurred was that like he got his life together, he started getting back right with his wife and his kid and his kid or his daughter. And um, basically, he, he he found God and stuff. And he had uh, said he was free spiritually and everything, but he wasn't free emotionally because he still had those traumas that it was still built up inside and so that's one thing i'm learning from reading this book is that he talks about especially as men because this book speaks to young men it don't really speak to the young females but it still does in a way but like i was saying it speaks to young men of like how we have been taught and been programmed as young men to basically hold everything in and be tough-minded when in reality the most important things for us to do and the best thing for us to do is to let those emotions out like crying is not is not is not a bad thing i know sometimes when i feel down and out i still like you know what sometimes it's all right just to cry because you need to get those emotions out another thing they talk about is emotional intelligence something that we always don't we don't really stress too much is having emotional intelligence it's just being able to sit down and process your thoughts you even when you're in in moments of where you can act upon anger and act upon rage you just act upon you just take that time to sit down and process your thoughts and figure out what emotions you're going through and just understanding like hey i'm still gonna be all right and if I'm feeling down, like maybe I just have to just take the time to cry or I just have to just take a few deep breaths and process what's going on because we all need that skill. And not a lot of us have that skill, especially as young men, like that revert back to this book, especially as young men, because we've been taught to be tough. We've been taught that don't cry. We've been taught to hold it in. Like one of my favorite lines he has in this book is when he referred back to Drake was, I bottled up my, I, I, I drank bottles just to bottle up my emotions. And that just speaks to what he's just talking about, how like we can resort back to alcohol and things like that. It's to hold it all in. But in reality, you're not doing yourself no necessary source of nature. And um, so the last thing, he, the last point I want to hit on is how he also talked about, and I just, and I said it a little bit, how these emotions as young men are passed down from even our fathers and one of the good quotes that he had was, or one of the good references he had was, was um, from the Lion King when Mufasa had told uh, Simba that, yeah, when uh, Simba was like, Dad, you so tough, you don't have no fear. And he said, I do have a fear, and my fear is losing you. And how that just made their relationship stronger. And I could just revert, uh, revert back to, and even though I'm not a parent, but I am a coach. I remember one time it was a kid who sometimes would act out of character. And we didn't always have the best relationship, but our relationship got stronger because one time I just told him, I said, man, I love you, man, I, I trust you. And ever since then, I, we always had a, I felt like we had a better relationship just because I was able to show him as a, as a man that I'm able to still offer him love and guidance and respect. <sighs> my bad, all like I said, my throat a little scratchy, but mm. But like I said, those are some of the things that I I just got from this book. Um, like I said, I'm still going through the book. It's still it's a pretty good read. It's helping me out a little bit more. Like I said, I love reading self help books. I think we all need to just take the time to read a self help book and just to figure out like what you could do and process your mind mentally. And so I know this was a pretty decent video. Um, and so with that just being said, y'all, if y'all have nothing to do, try to go. Uh, you know, looking for a good read. 
Go go look out for uh, Jason Wilson Battle Cry. Uh, shout out to my boy Mo for sending me this uh, book actually too. And so with that being said, y'all, this is Kim Lecise doing another segment of My Mind Mondays.